So, hey, uh, <laughs> so happy to have here some women, a little change. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yes, uh, my name is Sonia and uh, my family name is Kay Haddad. Uh, I'm from Iran and I have born and raised in Tehran uh, and I did my primary education in my native country in Iran. And um, I finished my bachelor in uh, theater playwriting major uh, in 2010. Uh, and I moved to the States uh, three years after getting my BA. And uh, I started um, studying uh, my MFA in film and media arts uh, in Boston. Uh, and um, I was um, in Boston for like about six, seven years. I, I finished my master's in three years. And after that, I was working uh, in Boston, in the U.S. Um, as an editor, film editor. Uh, I was working as a segment editor for WGBH TV channel. And for the last two years, um, when I was living in the U.S., uh, I was working as producer, assistant producer. And the last year was producing for uh, Boston's Mass um, Media Expo. Um, and uh, yes, <laughs> this was a general thing. And about my filmmaking um, uh, like process, I made my first short uh, in 2014 when I was studying film in Boston. Then my second short was my thesis project for my master, uh, which I showed it in Tehran. And uh, my last and third short was exam, the one that you have watched. Yes. Yeah, that one was uh, won some awards, right? How was that yes. experience? It uh, uh, they won the 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 best uh, actor award at Sundance, right? Yes, yes, yes. Actually, um, it was so good. Like <laughs> the best feeling. Um, uh, I was so excited. Um, I, I, I should say that it was three years ago in 2017 that for the first time I went to Sundance Film Festival with a group of Emersonians, um, uh, like um, some of the like Emerson's students and some of the professors. We got uh, invited by Sundance as like special guests. And when I was there, uh, I fell in love with the festival and I was like, look, I'm going to make a movie, I will be here, and I will uh, receive an award from Sundance one day. And it just took like two years and a half for me uh, to, you know, um, to achieve uh, my goal. Um, and uh, it was really exciting. Yeah, yes, yes. So, you know, because when you achieved that goal, do you feel like, oh my God, this is how I wanted to feel? Or was it like, Oh, I thought it's gonna feel a bit different. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it was the same feeling uh, that I used to expect. That yes, it, it was really exciting. Congratulations to be honest. To that. <laughs> yes. And um, how was the casting before? Because you know, that, like, did you know from the from the beginning, like, oh, this is the actor I, I want for sure, or how how was the casting? Uh, the, so let's talk about the casting process uh, for like exam. Actually, uh, when I was writing, uh, I should say that like um, casting process for every project uh, for me is different. Uh, but when I was writing exam, when I started um, writing this script, uh, I already knew that who is going to play uh, which role. Uh, I'm talking about uh, the mm, the like the characters of principals and like teacher, um, except the leading role. Um, so I um, knew that like, who is the character of the principals? Cause they were my friends and they're all um, professional theater actresses. And they were my friends from the time that I was working in theater. Um, and um, I already knew their acting potentials. Uh, I talk with them and they accept mm -hmm. uh, to play the roles. Um, and for the leading role, Sadaf, um, my co-writer, Farnoosh, uh, once uh, suggested her and she told me that, like, do you remember uh, this girl that you watched um, a movie like 
two years ago, uh, the name of the movie, it, it was a feature. Uh, the name of the movie was a Disappearance, which is screened at Toronto Film Festival. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yeah, I remember something. And she suggested her. And I watched that uh, feature movie again. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> this is her. And uh, we talked with her. Uh, we had uh, a, a one uh, rehearsal session. Then after that, I um, made my decision uh, that, okay, like sh- she's, uh, she's the character. The yes, she's- and she can make it, yes. How would you explain yourself as a director, first of all? Uh, you mean in terms of uh, working with uh, actors or yeah, yeah, yeah. working? Yeah, yeah. working uh, I um, I personally um, um, prefer to work with some people that I can connect with them. Mm-hmm. This is my first uh, priority, you know. Um, and I realize that feeling when I'm talking with the actor and actresses uh, during the rehearsals. Uh, so, um, I usually, um, tell my points, um, during the rehearsals to them. Uh, then we have like some, uh, like training or exercise sessions, uh, verbally and physically. Then during the shoot, um, I don't really talk with them in details because they already know. I just um, talk about the uh, environment and the atmosphere that I want. Mm -hmm. And then, yes, we start the shooting. Um, Maybe we have some exceptions like during the shoots that um, like in specific shots that uh, I go and talk with them uh, about some like uh, very, um, like every details of their acts, or their body like movements and these kind of things. Uh, but um, uh, I don't really talk a lot with the actor and actresses on set. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Were you thinking to take some acting classes? Uh, me? Uh, what? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I heard, you know, so many times that the director, <laughs> it's nice if director knows to show or can, can yeah. act. So can show yeah. like how they will act and everything so yeah I was just... um actually i i had like my first uh, measure was uh acting because uh i studied uh theater for my bachelor and um i was working with a theater group for a couple of years and i was uh i was an actress theater actress so i was i was working with um like different theater directors and uh i uh i realized that uh i or i understand that how is it possible to communicate with the actors or actresses and um you know i i got some specific like points regarding uh behaving with uh actor and actresses and um how to train them you know yeah. uh, my style uh, of rehearsals is really close to uh theater rehearsals because uh, i'm used to that um you know yeah i guess everyone has their own style so if it works for you then yes yes yeah uh can you talk about your creative process like before every uh shooting like how it looks you know pre-production and uh i hold that uh the creative process of um filmmaking starts when you start writing your script uh in that moment your creative process starts then you're gonna like write your story and take out a narrative out of your story. Uh, When you are like um, dividing your scenes, when you're writing them on your um, index cards and playing those, you know, juxtaposition of uh, scenes. uh, These are all the creative process and and processes. And then uh, you're gonna move to the next step, which is your pre-production. like um, casting process and um, I don't know, like 
working on your script again, uh, storyboarding and uh, working on your decoupage uh, in different scenes and shots, you know. So um, these processes, they're all creative processes for me. And uh, when you jump into the into the third step, which is your production, um, like 80, 90 percent is technical things more than creative things. You, you had to, uh, you should always like, um, uh, I don't know, like um, make all your uh, creative styles before your shoot. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you can combine all the technical, uh, technical skills and your creative things together uh, and the step of production starts. Which part is your favorite? uh production production really <laughs> production it's because hard it's coming alive no <laughs> yes it's alive and it, it's i know it's hard it's very challenging but uh it has a lot of like excitement you know um when you're working with a big group of people um yeah i, I like this process and um after production, I love the post-production process when you're sitting next to the editor uh, and you're like checking your uh, shots and watching the first rough cut, you know, that part also is exciting. So you're involved a lot, right? In editing process, like you sit there, you're giving notes and... Yes, I usually, um, I usually um, just let my editor to do the first rough cut uh, and I don't tell him or her anything um, like that, what I want. Uh, I let them to work. Then after that, uh, after, the f after watching the first rough cut, uh, I usually sit next to them and just add my own um, like suggestions, ideas and points. Yes, mm -hmm. that's the way I work. I understood that you tried so many roles. Like you tried, you know, editing, writing, directing, so yeah. <laughs> one man show uh do you still like now you have your team do you work with the team all the time with the same team or are you changing how uh to be honest um i i prefer to work with a uh, same team but uh it's really hard um uh, specifically in cinema industry uh that like for example, your script is ready um, and you want to start your pre-production process and it's really hard to find the same people uh, because they're always busy and they're maybe on the, like the other um, shoots or projects, you know? Uh, so it's really hard, specifically when you want to find the same uh, like key positions, like finding the same DP or makeup artist or production designer, because they're always busy uh, along the year. Yeah. So uh, you should be lucky uh, <laughs> to be able to work with them, you know? Mm -hmm. Or you should plan maybe like tell them that I I'm gonna shoot my uh, film in three months and I want you to work with me. But uh, if I have a really good memory um, from working with someone, um, I would like I would love to work with them again and again. So why not? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> and how did you start to write? Like when did you start to write at at university when you were studying? Um, you mean writing? Yeah, 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 writing. Yeah. Yes. Um, yes. Uh, actually, like, um, I uh, started writing, not like um, script writing. I started writing short stories uh, when I was a little girl, when I was eight or nine years old. Mm -hmm. um, and back when I was like 10 or 11 years old, I uh, started writing stories for local magazines in uh, Tehran. Um, and uh, I love writing. That's why I chose a theater major uh, 
uh, for my bachelor because uh, I wanted um, to study creative writing. But as we didn't have creative writing major at university in Iran, I chose theater because the minor was playwriting. Yeah. Uh, so yes, I, um, it was like four years of uh, BA uh, major, two years, it was like some general classes for like theater courses. And the next two years was just focusing on playwriting and writing. Uh, so the first time that I write, um, that I start writing scripts was uh, in 2014 um, when I joined to uh, Emerson School, filmmaking school, and I learned how to write, yes. <laughs> and do you have some tips or tricks like of, from where you know the one who can start who wants to start writing like from where we can learn and study because you know is it like from all online courses or some book yes uh, <laughs> um i don't <laughs> know it's just like it. trying because you know like sometimes yeah. it's just like the best way to try over and over yeah. yes uh for me, um, I, I never uh, learned writing from reading books or you know, watching tutorials. Um, um, it, it was something that was coming from like, uh, like it, it was my instinct, you know? Um, and I, I knew how to write a story, how to start, how to end. And, um, um, but uh, watching movies and reading a lot, uh, like novels and short stories, uh, helped, me, helped me to like improve and develop my skills in writing. And I found those structures uh, that like, let's say classic structure of writing through reading a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Uh, and uh, like, different types of uh, styles in writing, um, like novels or short stories from magazines. Like um, during the past four years, uh, I have read all the short stories from, for example, New Yorker magazine. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it really helps me to like increase my creativity, also to learn more about new writing structures, yes. You know what I have, like when I'm writing, I have this weird thing in my head, like everything sounds so cheesy. I don't know if okay. you read it in the beginning, like, I don't know, like the dialogues and I just feel like, like normally you would say, it, but when I see it on the paper, I'm like, no, this is not going to work. <laughs> so you didn't have this in the beginning, like, you know, like you're not sure if it's not so much, if it doesn't sound like cliche and yeah. Right. Um, so um, I, I believe that when you, uh, like, this is my uh, personal uh, experience. When you write something, I, I always, um, I mean, I'm talking about the script and narrative. When you write something, uh, like, I usually simultaneously, I'm making the images and the picture of the shots in my mind. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I finish my script, so I have all the scenes in my head. So if they make sense to me, I realize that, okay, it is going to be a good story and people can, um, you know, communicate with my story and my narrative. And uh, you should never think about like how cliche is your uh, story or your dialogues because um, like we already have worked on um, all the subjects in the world yeah. and... You should just um, you should just um, prepare your own story in your own way uh, from your own point of view. You know that's the point of that. Yeah, yes. I still try. <laughs> <laughs> um, can you tell us about your um, treatment, like how you prepare the treatment for actors and crew? Uh, my. Um, like uh, writing my treatment is not a very um, special, um, I don't know, process. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's not like uh, the type of like classic treatments. I just um, give them the script and maybe like uh, I write some notes 
um, and uh, the summary of my script and I will give it to them. Um, I don't know, maybe it's a short that I'm working and maybe uh, the process of uh, like writing the treatment gonna be different for me if I want to make a feature, um, you know? So it's a simple process. If you get some mold, you know, like, um, let's say like treatment from DOP, so you can see the, the mold of the lighting. Oh yeah. The, yeah. Yes, I usually, I usually make a notebook Uh, in my own way, <laughs> uh, and uh, I gather all the um, like uh, pictures and images and photogra photographs uh, or some screenshots from specific scenes of like different movies uh, that are close to uh, my taste uh, mm -hmm. and are close uh, to the atmosphere of the scenes and um, shots that I want to shoot. Uh, I gather all these things and I usually write the name of maybe like three or four uh, feature movies or short mo movies for my uh, DP. Uh, and I will give this like small notebook to him or her uh, to check. And then after that, when he uh, read my script and check my um, notebook, which is a mood book, we usually call it mood book. Yeah. Uh, then we have a session and we sit together and we talk about um, like the process of the shoot and also the type of the lighting I want, you know, maybe he or she has some suggestions um, for the location for the shoot. Yes. Mm. Um, let's talk about the short films in general. So when you were signing for, for a festival, for festivals, <laughs> more festivals, uh, did you do it by yourself? Because it's such a long process. I, I never thought about it like a full-time job. Like you really need to sit and yeah. look for every festival, like if it fits and yeah. So do, do, do you prefer to do it by yourself or you have someone who does it for you? Uh, actually, uh, This was the first time that I was working with a film distributor, uh, with, like uh, with um, exam. Uh, but for my last two shorts, um, I did it by myself. I know it's a long process, but you just have to be um, like organized. Uh, and the way that I was doing, it was like, um, I uh, usually make uh, an Excel uh, folder mm -hmm. and I write the name of all possible festivals that I can send my movie to. Um, and um, it depends on the type of the films that they accept. It depends on the uh, like uh, theme of my movie. You know, you have to, you should know that like which festival uh like may accept your movie so i write the name of the festivals i make my press kit beforehand and um then i start like sending my film to those festivals and usually you know like um we get help from some specific um websites like film freeway and like the others uh for exam it was a It was a little different because I, I wanted to do uh, the distribution process by myself, but um, like my producer suggested to talk with um, like um, a company. We talked and he, he really liked my movie. The distributor really liked my movie and I uh, preferred to work with him. And it's really important to know um like uh the company and you should do a lot of researches about the company and about the distributor and uh, i did that and um that's why i chose to work with the distributor this time yes it's like sending your baby to college no so you kind of enjoy that process to see like where you can place it <laughs> yes exactly yes Yeah, so what do you think is the best way to distribute your film? Uh, I mean, like, you can do it by yourself. Either ways are good, like yourself or, uh, like, I don't know, sign a contract 
with a distribution company. Both are good, but if a really good distribution company wants your movie, so why not? Mm -hmm. uh, it's the best way because um, they know better than you how to distribute your movie. They know the festivals and they're um, already experienced in this way and process, you know. Mm. Yes. Do you have some advice for people who wants to like, you know, apply for festivals, want to do the short films? Um, uh, just about the distribution or making, In general, making, 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 <laughs> uh, um, once, uh, one of my professors, uh, just, I, I just, I asked this, uh, question, the same question from him. And he told me that my suggestion to you is just to make movies, uh, do not wait, do not just sit and think about your ideas and tell yourself that, no, this is good. Oh, this is good. You know, um, just make movies and you don't have to make good movies. You should just make movies because um, it is a learning process. Uh, maybe after making four, five, six shorts or movies, uh, you make a masterpiece, you know, the seventh one uh, will be a masterpiece, you never know. So you should experience, it's exactly like all the other jobs that you should get experienced um, and developed in your, um, you know, position. Mm. So just, just make them, do not just write them and uh, put them away, just make them. And do you think that uh, films can cause some change in the world, like in a society? Uh, films. Uh, <laughs> it's a tricky <laughs> question because sometimes yes, but sometimes no. I personally do not believe that films can like uh, have significant impact on, um, you know, uh, the society or um, the, uh, I don't know, politics or, you know, I, I don't believe that. Um, it has some uh, effects, it, can, it has some effects, but not as much as we think. Uh, so I, I uh, see it uh, really as an entertainment. Um, yeah. But it can change a little bit the way how you are thinking, no? Like it can show you the other yeah. ways that you like yeah. open your mind. Yeah, up. because it, it's a part of culture, you know? It's a cultural thing. Uh, so art um, can affect your mind, uh, but um, it cannot have yeah. you know, a big um, that effect. Big impact in yes, yes, I agree. Yes, I think that's it. <laughs> we covered everything. <laughs> if you have something else, what you what you want to share or what do you want to say? Uh, I don't know. I, I just say thank you. Uh, thanks to you and all your um, crew. And also I say um, hi <laughs> again, <laughs> audiences. And um, I, I, I'm really happy uh, for meeting you and to have a talk with you. Thank you that you are doing such nice stuff, that you are creating this beautiful art. Oh, I thank you. We'll thank you so much. Some more on the festivals. <laughs> <laughs> thank oh, you. Yeah, I want to ask you, what's your next goal? Oh, next goal, next project. Uh, I'm working on my next short. Mm -hmm. um, Actually, I finished writing, but um, uh, due to this crazy pandemic uh, situation, mm -hmm. um, I'm just waiting, like, I don't know till when, but uh, I want to shoot it in um, a situation that people are not stressed out, you know, because um, it, it's a really big uh, responsibility if you want to take people uh on set and um, for a like short film, it takes at least like 10 to 15 people to work with you. And it's really risky, you know, these days. So um, maybe I'm gonna shoot my shorts maybe in a month or two months. 
uh, and I'm uh, working on my feature films plot. And I have this um, plan to shoot it maybe for the next year, but let's see what happens. <laughs> if a big bang would, won't happen, you know? Uh, yeah. At least you, you know, have the time to prepare. 2020 you know? gonna be like this, you know? <laughs> and I don't know about 2021, that what will happen. Well, not one. Yeah. The best one in this case. Yes, exactly, yes. So thank you so much for your talk. Sure, thank you. Thank you so much. And I wish to see you again. <laughs>